Okay, hello, welcome back to another episode of Sky Vaults Plus. So, to start off this episode, we're going to be creating the jewel applicator. We'll put it over here by the tool station. We're just going to not really do much with it for now, but it's we're just going to have it, you know, to, to just have it. It's nice. Uh, we went through a resource vault, got a bunch of random resources. We're going to be looking into that stuff now, but... We got this guy completed, we reached level 5 as well, so hopefully this guy should complete. Then we need to acquire a Vault Forge, which shouldn't be too difficult, because the Vault Forge is simply a bunch of chromatic steel, which is four of you, and four of, uh, sh should be in here, four of what we create from combining nine of these guys, so... Four and four. And that should be able to create... Or just two, two of these guys in four? Okay. And now we've got five chromatic steel. Perfect. And then we just need a blast furnace and a netherite ingot. I don't think we have netherite actually. Shoot. That might be our one limiting resource. We have a bunch of netherite. Never mind, I lied. Uh, and then I need a blast furnace. I know I have a blast furnace because I got one from the vault. There we go. And now, I need the essence. I, I have the essence in here too. There we go. And Vault Forge time. Vault Forge has been completed. Yippee, okay. Check the Vault Gold in there. I can claim the Vault Crystal that we're gonna run, as well as select that guy. Elixir Vault, dope. First level 10 Vault. I required the Vault Forge. Forge a Magnet in the Vault Forge. Can I do that with what we have right now? I need a vault gold. Uh, okay. Fine. Magnet. And level 10 magnet. Dope. We're gonna roll you. I'll take these guys real quick. Just cause we're gonna need them. Cause 14 vault silver turns into 1 vault gold. Which is there for enough to complete that guy. A normal scrappy belt. Gab guy. There we go. Chuck that in there. Check that in there, and give me one moment to get the crystal to be where it needs to be. There we go. Vault crystal has been completed. It is a 10x wild, 2x horde vault, um, and we should be able to go straight into it, right? Complete the magnet. I can check the vault alloy in there. Okay, let's go. Come on. Okay. Our main goal... For this vault is going to be surviving and making out like a bandit it is an elixir vault so we shouldn't have to worry a ton about a ton of stuff so we are just getting ready and we're gonna have so much fun doing this okay let's do this okay there, there we go sorry about that things froze for a second also my fov it's not tight it's just looking and feeling tight i guess uh, are we actually gonna get to loot anything, is the question. Um, where... There should be loot up there, right? Yeah, up there. Looks like there's gonna be some... Shoot. Most of this is empty. It's like, just stark empty. Unfortunately. But thankfully we can come up here, do this real quick. Get all the way up here. And big loot. Because each of these chests has double the amount of normal loot that it would. Which is very, very nice. The one thing is that we're just going to make sure that we can... We're going to kill all of the mobs that we can. For XP, because this is a level 10 vault. Although... Shoot, my headset's... Okay, there we go. Headset plugged in now. Don't have to worry about that. That's pretty epic. Uh... Let's stop burning. The burning is uh, not 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 great. There we go. Okay. The amount of mobs in here are going to get a little bit difficult to deal. Uh, but ideally, we'll be able to push through them like that. And can kind of ignore them and kite them for the most part, because that's all that we really really can do. We don't have. One of the facilities to kind of, like, 
fight them all the time. Although we do kind of want to go for some of these champion mobs. If we can. So. We'll just wait a second. Get them all to gather up. Should, can I select my specialization for this guy in here? I can. That's good. For that another identified vault shield epic okay but honestly the fact that we didn't take like we took minimal damage from that is amazing although it's unfortunate that everything is going as it is but that's fine come on stop running away y'all gotta y'all gotta chill please stop running bro Coconut crab looking goofy. Hell. Okay, we just gotta get as much loot as we possibly can. Okay, that could have been bad. Those guys with all the particles do a lot of extra damage. So sometimes they can be pretty scary. Although, thankfully, we won't have to deal with a ton of them due to just them being much rarer than normal mobs. But it's always a concern. So... I mean, ideally, we just take care of all the mobs as quick as possible and don't have to deal with much, but I don't know how realistic that is with how this vault is going already, just from the sheer amount of mobs. It's a little bit much already, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it work, we're gonna make it go, we're gonna see how good it goes. There we go, that guy's dead. We're not gonna focus on much else other than getting the loot. Chipped jewels. Can we just get more flawless jewels? Chipped jewels. Cool. And extinguish ourselves. Came from over there. Let's do this. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And just go up there. And then this is going to be our last room because, oh my gosh, is it. <laughs> The mobs are kind of just harassing the hell out of me, and I need I need a break. It's terrifying. It's so unfortunate. Oh my god. Silverfish explosion. Oh, shit. That could have been bad. Ow, that's bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, let's... Can't swim here, can't swim here, can't swim here. Of course I can't swim here, but I'm gonna be able to swim here. And there's no way up over there, which means I have to go around. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> oh, we got way too low there. That was almost very bad. Okay, we can go up here, over here, and then we should be able to just take care of these mobs. Grab the stuff up here, and then... Take care of that guy. Take care of you. Just take care of them one by one. As they come over here. Don't have to worry about getting rid of everyone. It's fine. Coconut crab, I will open up you guys just simply for the XP, I guess. And, I mean, in theory, I should stay in here as long as I can. But it's a little bit, uh, hectic. And I might try another vault like this eventually once I get some better abilities. But for now, until we get, like, a mob farm and a basal, basal stuff set up, it's, uh, not really worth it. Yet, although, one thing we could do is we can go into a different room, farm up something real quick. But I do want to consume a lodestone in this room as well. So we're just going to go up immediately, consume the lodestone. If any elite mob spawn or champion mobs, we can just kill those guys here. But I don't want to focus 
There we go, there's one. Perfect. We got it, we got an unidentified vault tunnel for that. Perfect. Okay, we got all that stuff taken care of. We got all that. Bunch of space left in our thing. Perfect. Trip jewel. Shoot, I gotta turn off the magnet. Chip jewel, chip jewel, chip jewel, chip jewel, chip jewel. Okay. And uh, we, I mean, on the whole, we didn't get a ton of loot. Although we did get this guy, which is perfect. And we should be able to enjoy our stuff from there. So let's click everything we can into there that we're not going to roll yet. There we go. There we go. All those guys are right there for us. And then I need... I didn't get any burger buns from that. Oh, well. It is what it is. Anyway, let's roll all the gear. And then that's going to be the end of this episode. GG's. Peace. Have a fantastic day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful time. GG's. Peace. Have a great day. See you guys next time. Uh, did we get any stuff that's worth replacing our current stuff with? Just the chest plate. Okay. But yeah, GG's. Peace. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.